you're not looking here you're looking here okay hmm? this is just for me to know that we're in frame you're looking here okay. don't be looking at yourself because i know that you are the master of slay queen don't worry you're fine we know hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in if this is your first time here welcome my name is Sue local solutions in today's video i have a guest with me in the person of my amazing mother this is my mother like biological mother i think i don't have to say that too much but i'm just going to let her like just say her name and welcome you guys welcome to our youtube channel <laughs> my name is adegoke fumilola subscribe god bless you as you watch amen <laughs> okay so guys the title isn't clickbait my mom legit used to hug this woman, um, if you're new here, or if you're not new here, you will know that I have mentioned that she's one of my mentors in life for a long time. I've said that over and over here. A lot of you might be wondering, is she a pastor? Is it because she's like, whatever? But it's because this woman, she has some strong values in this life that I just said, mom, before you go, you have to impact it on my team solutions. She's here for Umugo, by the way, and she's been so helpful. This is how I'm able to film this video. Anyway, I digress. So today my mom is going to be telling us, I'm going to be asking her some questions about how she came from hawking to now being like in the real estate and rolling in real estate and wow. doing, <laughs> wow, she's humble, she's too humble. Anyway, I'm doing the most when it comes to being blessed financially and I feel like that's one part where I really look up to her for and I'm like, this woman, if you could come from nothing and be all of this, then I have no excuses, right? So, mom, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Thank you for agreeing to film this. Are you ready? Of course I am. Good. So, mom, can you just gist us a bit about how, you know, you used to hug and then you did go to secondary school and after that, you know, all that story you used to tell me about my sisters on the bed. Please tell us. Yeah. Thank God for everything. I'm privileged to be here to tell you people just little out of my story. I can't just say anything without giving it to God. Mm -hmm. I give glory to God Almighty for even allowing me to be here this afternoon mm -hmm. to say just little about my own story. Mm -hmm. God has been so faithful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Lord. God, I'm so, so, so good to me. Mm -hmm. I came from a very poor family. We are not rich in our family, but God has been so faithful to me. Mm -hmm. He brought me from nowhere to somewhere. Mm -hmm. He has been so faithful. Indeed, God has been faithful. Yeah. Now, can you tell the people, and thank you, like, she had to give it to God first. Can you now tell us, mom, I know you said that you finished um, secondary school, yes. and your mom actually told you that you could not go further in your education. She could not afford. Yes. yes. That is the very truth. When I was younger, when we were younger, my sister, my immediate senior sister, myself, and my junior brother, which mm -hmm. is now a professor, you know, when we were so young, we lost our father at a very tender age. And my mom, being a hawker, mm -hmm. she tried so much to at least be able to let us go to secondary school. But she had been telling us before we finish our secondary school that ah, after finish secondary school, there's no how she can try for us to go to university which we all accepted, except that my younger brother, that, okay, well, this one is a male child. He's the one that we further his education. We both agreed. So immediately I finished my secondary school. I proceeded to Akure to go and meet my senior sister, which I began my own life, and I started doing hawking. Hmm. So as God will do it, and as God will have it, that's why I'm always giving it to God. This is I am today from selling okirika, selling ankara, from there selling laces, fa I mean fabrics. From there God has used a lot of good friends to uplift my business mm. and to the glory of God. 
Yeah, I am today. You I guys. Thank you, God. My mom is not telling you the full tea, right? So I think I'm going to take it step by step. Okay. This woman, she said that her mom used to hug quite all right. So what would happen? What would happen is after school, she would actually start hugging alongside her sister with the mom, right? So it's a case of once they're done from school, even while in secondary school, they would legit start hugging. That's how they were even able to support their moms through, you know, their um, secondary education. But mom, you're going to tell us every part of that hustle right yeah so the first thing you do when you go to a career i know you said there was a point you used to make hair yeah it's my sister that normally makes it mm -hmm. she has a salon mm -hmm. but i do help her to make it okay because was well, that we, how you started no 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 i do i do help her mm -hmm. to make hair mm -hmm. you know but in my own case I was I was looking for a job mm -hmm. here and there mm -hmm. at least to get something done. Okay. So one day I was just passing along the side side. I saw sales get haunted. I said, "Wow, let me just try whether they can employ me here." Mm -hmm. So I got with happiness. When I got there, they employed me to be selling small small things for them. Okay. So which I did for just like a year, mm -hmm. but you know the salary wasn't that. Wait, was that the service? Yes, that was the service. Mom, why can you, how can you just say it like that? Okay, they were selling small small things. Was it a restaurant? It was a restaurant. Yes, my mom worked as like a sales girl like in a, in restaurant. a restaurant. So she was literally a server. Yeah. And how much was your salary? My salary then was 60 naira. And how much were you saving per month? I do sales 50 naira every month. Guys. I used to keep 10, 10 naira. Guys, get For my office. upkeep. Yes, I right. used to save 10, 10 naira every right. month. So my mom was saving, she was earning 60 naira and then she was Saving 15 naira. You had this job and you did it for how long? What was 1000 naira divided by 50? So you saved 1000 naira, right? Yes. This woman saved 1000 naira from saving 50, 50 naira every month. She saved 1000 naira and you, you left the job, right? I left the job. I told the woman that after I was I've completed 1000 naira, I want to go and start my own business. Hmm. So I left the job. The woman wasn't happy about it, but she know yeah, she, she really was. loves me. She yeah. doesn't want me to go, but I just need to go. Yeah. So I started my own business without one thousand. So my mom, like I feel like this is the most amazing part of the story for me. The fact that she could see herself not doing that forever. It was like she said, the woman, the employer loved her, so she could have thought, I'm going to be here for a long time. If I need money, you know, I would always have my next salary. But she had her own intention of what she needed to do for herself. She had a vision for her own life. And then she delayed herself that gratification of spending all and was putting away 15 naira. Anyway, so you saved 1,000 naira, you left the shores of her career and went to When away. the money was exactly 1,000 yes. naira. So I told a friend, that my friend is now in UK, I told her that I wanted to be going to Lagos to go and be buying little little things for sale, but I don't know much about Lagos, I've not been to Lagos, mm -hmm. so how do I go about this? She now said that, don't worry, I've been to Lagos times with that number, let me just take you to Lagos, to where you'll be buying Okrika, Yaba, that she will take me to Yaba. To be buying okrika to so sell. for the sake of people who are not Nigerians or maybe other cultures, I don't know what okrika is. Okrika means bend down, select like yes. pieces of clothes that are used, that to, like used. yeah, used in the West, and then they bring to Nigeria and like secondhand clothes, yes. thrifting. Yes, yeah, that's what I started call it. with that. So my friend took me to Yaba, so we bought some. I didn't spend that one thousand naira at once. So I kept like 500 naira. Mm. I went with 500 naira. Invest up. So like. <laughs> I started from there. Mm. So I picked good, good ones. I put them inside Shaka. You know that? Ghana was, Ghana good. was good. Mm -hmm. So I started going from one university mm. to school of nursing to another university from one place to the other. Line I, started, line. I started telling them that, oh, this is what I do. This is what I do. I have nice, nice things. So all those guys, you know, then. You know, beautiful, beautiful ladies, mm -hmm. slim and beautiful girls. <laughs> so they normally patronize me. Mm -hmm. So I need to take a shop. Mm -hmm. I couldn't afford the whole shop. Mm -hmm. So I was sharing a shop with a friend okay. that is selling provisions. Okay. You know, so the two of us are paying for that shop. Right. Yeah. So I was selling my own. And one side, she was selling her own at one side. Okay, mom, so let me cut you there. Yeah. I'm going to call my mom here because the part of this story is, 
you know how she was going i mean she was a young lady in our what yeah. early late 20s were you 20, 20 yet so no. No, I started my own when I was 20. Okay, yeah, so she was like 20, early 20s. So it was very important also for her to show up looking good. But trust me when I say that this woman will show up looking good, but with the like least expensive thing. You know, there's a temptation now in our generation, if I'm bringing it forward for us, like everybody wants to wear the Gucci, the designers. No, I remember no, she no, would say, like I remember you would tell us how, even when you were dating dad, yeah. how that, yeah. You know, your friends will say, oh, there's this party or there's something. Ha, Mama, this, so I'm speaking British English, sorry. <laughs> there's this party somewhere and stuff like that. And you will show up, but like, what mattered to you most was how well you could combine those of stuff. Course. Not the amount you spent on those stuff. Of course. Right? So that's one thing. She was selling all those things, but she wasn't actually destroying her business by trying to look good and never maybe wearing everything. There would have been that temptation that, ah, if there's this party today, let me just take from my stock and wear it. Mm -hmm. But she didn't do that. She maintained her stock and then she would actually go with the barest minimum because she had a vision in mind. I feel like I could try to do the power of vision, but I feel like I'm also going to film another video on that. So anyway, mom, so you took a shop, long story short, you started turning your money over things started expanding for you and then there was a time that you had to take the whole shop right you bought it over from your friend isn't no, it? before i bought that shop mm -hmm. it wasn't the one that my friend and i was using okay before i bought that shop you know your daddy came mm -hmm. along the line okay that you know he likes me mm -hmm. so we started dating so i was still selling what i'm selling mm -hmm. so i love the line my husband my husband to be now mm -hmm. now said I mean, at the time, that, yeah, yeah, that time said, ah, I don't like this type of business you are doing. That maybe you need to change it. So far, we are getting married, and I said, no problem. So far, it's what you want that it will support me. Okay. So I now said, okay, no problem. Thank you for that. I now left that lady mm -hmm. in that shop. So I went to another shop, mm -hmm. which I took the old shop at this time. Okay. When I took the old shop at this time. So I started selling clothes like Ankara, cotton and so. So there was an upgrade from thrifting from to that to second hand to like fabrics, fabrics, literally, but the lower grade fabrics now. Which is cotton and so, Ankara, um, all those small, small, sample small materials. materials and uh, Ankara and small, small things. Mm -hmm. That was where I started my own business, shop business yeah. when I took a bigger shop. Mm -hmm. Are you getting what I'm yeah. saying now? So from there, all those okrika and the leftover everything. Mm -hmm. I just called one man from the inside because I sell inside market. Mm -hmm. I just called a man, an evil man to come and take everything, take everything to yeah. come and collect Buy everything at, at a ridiculous yeah. price. Yeah. So which I did, mm -hmm. I sold for him, mm -hmm. I collected all my money, so I joined it with that one mm -hmm. with the little that my husband could give me then. Mm -hmm. So that is how God transformed my life mm -hmm. and I started selling before you know it all those guys that had been patronizing me in little little ways mm -hmm. they started decreasing coming again bringing my friends people. bring other friends mm -hmm. you know like that the business was expanding mm -hmm. before I could know it God has it became for mine God has for mine done, of the whole God has done <laughs> yeah. my guys don't sleep on this woman when I call me and I say well, I did fabric business if you guys know that I did a bit of fabric business in Lagos it's because my mom has been in this business for over 32 years but 35 not 32. 35 I'm sorry yeah. fabric mogul I'm yes. sorry I didn't go like, you bought lash up, eh, lash up. anyway so um from that little beginning you guys can really see the trajectory of how this woman literally changed her life yes god did it but she had to put in the work so mom from getting a shop of your own and all of and all of that you ended up getting several shops because i remember there was a time that was in primary school you had like several shops around yes, the market of course there was a time all five yeah, shops. exactly yes. she had branches yes. so to speak you had people working for you yes. and in the and home front too you, yeah in the home front you were pulling your weight like mom oh my god let me not go into details but this woman just literally transformed her finances her life by putting in the work so mom i'm going to ask you excuse me that's why i give it to god mm -hmm. and you know there's no how you can do something in this life without the help of god and few 
people who are around mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I give it to some of my friends right. that are very, very good. Mm -hmm. You know, they do patronize me even when they get to the top places. Mm -hmm. They still remember me and that oh, when you. I don't have anything, you are giving them on credit. Is it same woman mm -hmm. that normally gives me on credit? Mm -hmm. Is it same friend that normally clothes me? Mm. I can never leave this woman. So right. they added value right. to my life. Right. So I really and I like that. that. I feel like there's something in there, and that's the power of not looking down on people, right? Yeah. But so that leads me to the next couple of questions I'm gonna ask you. What are some of the values you can say helped you? And I feel like I know a lot of these things. Mm. These are some of the things I'm really okay. practicing. Okay, right? <laughs> oh, exactly what we want to hear. Mm -hmm. I thank God that I'm very, very, very loyal person. Mm -hmm. Number one, a loyal to the call. I don't, I don't know how to play zigzag rules in anything I, I do. Yeah, you're straightforward. And I'm a very straightforward woman, mm -hmm. and I'm very humble. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> my, mom, very humble. my mom is humble. And it doesn't have to do with age, mm -hmm. because I respect people a lot. Guys. Because it's what you give, you take. No joke. This woman is the queen of humility. Like, I can't even tell Thank you, you how... Much. Yeah, and you've impacted that in me a lot. Like, I can't tell you how much humility has actually opened doors for her. The fact that she doesn't look down people. And you know how some people literally have something and... Before you even push through, they start announcing it. This woman, she might have like loads of cash in her account, and you have no clue because she just, ah, you know, I will thank all you. So I feel like humility is very important. very important. So that's a very important thing I feel like has helped you. Yeah. What else? You also spoke about uh, loyalty, yeah? Loyalty. Being straightforward. Be straightforward. Being straightforward because, is important. Excuse me, because it's very, anything you do in life. It's always good to be straightforward. Mm -hmm. I could remember a time that I was selling something for one woman. Mm -hmm. The woman overpaid me with 400000 Oh, wow. It's a lot of money. Oh, then, wow. And I looked at my account and I said, wow, this money was much, but it doesn't belong to me. So I went to the woman. I said, mom, the money you paid was over 400000 naira." She now said, what? Mm. I said, okay, mommy, let's do the calculation. When we did, it was over 400,000 naira, which I returned to her. Mm -hmm. She now said, wow. So this your type is still existing. Mm. Yeah. So honestly, honestly and honestly, the woman started patronizing me mm -hmm. to many people, right. patronizing me. Telling people about me. So that also you know? when I had an open door. Yes. Yeah, I feel exactly. like if I bring it into the career space or even for business, I'll say integrity, right? Be a person of your word. Don't try to like cut corners yes. and all of that. And I can actually apply that even in my business as an influencer, as a YouTuber. So many things that integrity will do for yes, you. So thank course. you for that. Then what other thing can you say, you know, has helped you in not only being successful in the um your business but even in your family life mm, what i can say is that it's good to be very hard working mm -hmm. laziness is a bad idea <laughs> i like that <laughs> perish the idea <laughs> laziness is a very bad idea mm -hmm. because i could remember then by 4 a.m i need to leave my house to go to lagos I will get to Lagos at exactly 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. I will get to Balogu Market by exactly 8.30 a.m. And we need to come back that day, you know. Like, yeah, you know, obviously. like I told because you, you have children, it was a day to... that I came from Lagos and I came back to you. Guys, I think I shared a bit of my Insta story before. This woman was pregnant with me, went to Lagos a day before she actually gave it to me. Yes. People were looking at her in the market like, woman, what are you what doing? Do you yeah. So, so see, I got home, mm -hmm. not quite one hour. You went into I, labor. I went into labor. And before the day break, mm -hmm. you had you I am not here to glorify like work till you die or bend your mm -hmm. back for work mm -hmm. and all of that. But guys, hard work goes a long way. Yes. Call it your hustle. Call it your hard work. Call it waking up at 4 a.m. to get that exercise done. Call it whatever it is you want to call it. But however you interpret hard work, take it. And um, let me just share a bit of my story. All through my 20s, mostly through my 20s, I worked in the bank. And I remember one day that I was in uh, my credit school. 
waking up at 5 a.m. and stuff, my mom actually told me that there is a day you're going to look back and tell the story. People would think you landed where you landed. Yes. But I'm going to remind you that you've been working hard for a long time, right? So my point is, and I feel like this has to also do with delayed gratification. The fact that you think of the future and you deprive yourself of the pleasures of now. Because you're really invested into your future. Because the Bible says, make haste when the sun shines. Amen. Actually, that makes sense. So I feel like delayed gratification, hard work. You said so many things here and I'm even getting pumped. Hard work, delayed gratification, you know, loyalty. I feel like one other trait I have to mention is how outspoken you are. Um, I followed my mom to one of our suppliers one time in Lagos. And when the elevator and this woman literally broke the silence were with a bunch of strangers strangers and she broke the silence and started talking to them and before you knew it she was exchanging a complimentary card and i'm like woman and she's like this is how i meet people i have nothing to lose they either yes. say yes or oh, say no. no so i feel like that being outspoken or being your own marketer maybe that's how i put it like being your own um driving for speaking about yourself believing in yourself of course mm-hmm. you know i told you earlier even when I'm going to party, if I want to go to party, maybe party that big, big people will be there mm-hmm. with my complimentary card in my bag. I'll just take a, my, couple. a, cop, mm-hmm. a copy of it. I'll look for someone that I know, ah, this one is looking, looking good. good. <laughs> looking good. Maybe she will patronize me or not. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind, but I will make sure I give my card to her. Please, ma, I sell fabric. Yeah. I have nice things. Even the way I dress. Mm-hmm. You, will, you know, the way you dress, you'll be addressed. Yeah. Yeah. You look at me at all. What do you do? I oh, I sell fabric. Yeah. This is my shop number. Yeah. This is my complimentary card. Mm-hmm. Before I know it, they will patronize me. Thank you, mom. And that is so good. Um, I feel like that one, I still need, I need help <laughs> in that area. Like, that I'm not, the, you know, I'm good. very outspoken. Like, I feel like on stage, you know, behind the camera. But when it comes to one-on-one interaction, I'm like, no, okay, you okay, want to keep it to oh yourself. God. But anyway, well, anyway, well, anyway. What is what you're doing at all? It's what do you wear. No, you're so, right. It's what right. You, I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> so let people know mm-hmm. what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't have anything to lose. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like they want to patronize, or they want to go mm-hmm. because your best friend mm-hmm. may decide not to patronize you, mm-hmm. and the one you don't know at mm-hmm. all, you say, "Oh, I just mm-hmm. like this woman. I Actually, just like this lady." I mean, that I is come. so true. Yeah. Even in my so, life as a YouTuber, it's yeah. strangers that root for of you. Course, People you don't know are the ones that root for you the most. Yeah. Anyway. Haven't said that. Thank you guys. Mom has been so helpful and I hope that you have learned a thing or two or more. I personally even have learned so much more. But mom, do you have any closing words? Single ladies, married ladies, everybody here, you if know, I want watching. To say something, I'll just say my little advice mm-hmm. for both single, married, or married is that number one, you need to be patient in whatever we are doing. Mm-hmm. Number one, patience goes a long way, mm-hmm. and you need to cultivate the habit of not spending too much because of tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Are you getting it? You need to Jen, have, I left the group. You chat. need to Sorry. have <laughs> the habit of saving for your own. Mm-hmm. To me, my own mm-hmm. is different from our, our own, own. Mm-hmm. because if Word. you have your own. Mm-hmm. It is then it's easy for you to take out of it, spend out of mm-hmm. it when you get there. Mm-hmm. And me, yeah, when you eventually, get, eventually when mm-hmm. you get there, nobody can query you. Mm-hmm. Are you getting me? Mm-hmm. Because nobody knows where you can meet yourself mm-hmm. at the end of everything in this life. Mm-hmm. You always pray for good life, good prayer, good husband, good home, which God will give every one Amen. of us. Amen. our good desires Amen. and our children's good desires Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But whenever you find yourself in this life, mm-hmm. you need to at least have your own. Have your own. Like, you're just not a liability to someone. You would, you would always be independent, right? And I, like, this is not an ignorant statement. There are people who are in phases of life where they, are, they actually cannot do much for themselves right now. But don't now sit there and say, well, for the rest of my life, I'm just going to be here, chilling, you know. I feel like that power of vision is very important, of right? Of course, yes. Mm-hmm. And there's no how you can give everything to yourself. You know, there's no how you say, oh, all the roads are smooth every time. Mm. No, you know, at times, 
they are bumping. They are bumping. Mm -hmm. But you need to manage in between. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. When the thing is good, mm -hmm. you manage. And when the thing is good, the other side, you manage. Mm -hmm. So at the end of everything, mm -hmm. everything will work over balance. Better for your own good. Amen. Jesus Amen. Name. Thank you so much, Mom. It's been amazing having you here. Thank you for sharing. Welcome. But so blessed. Two solutions. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. I feel like I'm already thinking about my life. Obviously, <laughs> she's my mom. Thank so, you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Bye, Love you. Bye, guys. Bye for now. <laughs> Back to my it's channel. You know that this will be in the blue pass, right? Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Yeah. It's a family channel. Anyway, please have prayer by phone. <laughs> uh, please. <laughs>